right. So I'm Andrew Farah. I'm Chief of Psychiatry at the High Point section of UNC Healthcare. Uh, I've been medical director here for 12 years. So we're going to talk about the InLight story and what is InLight. Well, InLight is a new therapy for depression, and it all starts with the homocysteine theory of depression. What is this homocysteine theory? We've always been told that patients with depression have low serotonin, low norepinephrine, low neurotransmitters, and that's the cause of depression. But really, that's not the cause of depression. Low serotonin, low norepinephrine, they're really just symptoms of depression. The root cause of depression is that that patient cannot manufacture enough of those neurotransmitters, and that starts with a homocysteine cycle or the homocysteine theory. Basically, homocysteine starts that chain of events going. Now, it's a natural amino acid. It occurs in the brain but it starts the chain reaction going so that a patient can have methylation and methyl donation and make their neurotransmitters. And if homocysteine is high, homocysteine backs up and gets high, neurotransmitters get low. And the other thing about homocysteine is, is that it's toxic to the brain. We know that high homocysteine is not only a risk factor for depression, it's a risk factor for strokes, for dementia, for even negative symptoms of schizophrenia. So it's very important to lower that homocysteine across the blood-brain barrier, not only for protective reasons, but it has therapeutic value in depression. So for years, we've been giving patients antidepressants. And what do antidepressants do? Well, they block the reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin. They block the reuptake of chemicals that are deficient. Well, InLight comes along, and it basically allows the brain to make more of those products that are deficient, more of those neurotransmitters. So what I like about this agent is that it addresses the root cause of depression, not just a symptom of depression. And I think it's a real paradigm shift. I think it's very important for the patient to have this option out there. So all they need is one polymorphism. Rather, what I mean by polymorphism is um, when you take in B vitamins, they're not active. They're really cofactors. They're what we call prodrugs. Your body has to metabolize them to the active form, and that takes enzymes. And for genetic reasons, many people have defective enzymes. In fact, 70% of depressed individuals have defective enzymes to make those cofactors and, and make them fully functional. So all you need is just one polymorphism for B9 or B3 or B12, and suddenly you can have low serotonin, and you can have depression for genetic reasons. And we've always wondered, what is that reason? Why does one patient go through a set of stressors and get depressed, another patient doesn't. Well, it seems like they have different polymorphisms and they can't make enough neurotransmitter, particularly in times of stress. So how do we address that? We address it by giving those cofactors in adequate amounts, in adequate forms to cross the blood-brain barrier. So this is a real paradigm shift. Rather than give the brain a chemical to block their uptake of serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, why not just give it the raw materials it needs to make more of those neurotransmitters? And it's been a, a wonderful therapeutic advantage for many patients. So InLight is that combination of all the cofactors you need, B1, B2, B3, B6, B9, B12. But it also has some omega-3s, DHA, EPA for improved cognition. So they're trying to cover all the bases. And it really was engineered to maximize that homocysteine cycle and treat depression. So I think it's, it's a huge shift. And I think in five years, 10 years from now, we'll be using these cofactors as our primary therapy. And then when the patient doesn't respond, we're gonna add an antidepressant to it. It won't be the other way around. So we're gonna see a paradigm shift. We're gonna go with the natural, safe thing that addresses the root cause of depression rather than just symptomatic relief. And then if we don't get a response, then we'll add the antidepressant. We know that only 40% of patients complete their recommended duration of antidepressant therapy. So six out of 10 people are gonna drop out, usually within three months. So they don't like the side effects. Um, and particularly if, if you think about 80% of antidepressants going to women, well, if she's gonna gain weight, she's not gonna take it. Or sexual, if you give a young man sexual side effects, he's not gonna take it. So uh, uh, the reality is there, there are side effects with these agents that, that are the number one reason people drop out of therapy. Yeah. Uh, so you take a product like, like InLight, which is basically your B vitamins, um, taking that indefinitely, I have patients, I, I know they're going to take it indefinitely, and they're not having side effects now, and they won't have side effects 15 years from now. One of the real advantages is we have something that's category A for pregnancy, right? So it's not only safe in pregnancy, encouraged in pregnancy. So um, that's great news because we know 80% of these antidepressants go to women. So great news to have that category A designation. With this natural product, basically, uh, we find that uh, 
that patients, I don't have to warn them about weight gain, sexual issues, I don't have to warn them about the suicidality. Uh, and, uh, and the proof is really there. I had a young lady text me just this week saying she was canceling her appointment because she felt so good. And this is after nine years of depression. We finally found something that worked for her. Um, another lady phoned me too. It took about uh, 14 days, but she got into remission. Now, that's pretty good. Uh, but what I like about this agent is we're finally getting at the root cause of depression, finally addressing that homocysteine theory of depression.